Thanks to NVIDIA and Zotac for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield has come a long way over the years. From the days of Battlefield 1942 to Battlefield 5, graphics and technology have evolved alongside the franchise. With Battlefield 2042, NVIDIA is taking things to another level with their RTX series GPUs and technology like NVIDIA Reflex, DLSS, and ray traced ambient occlusion. The result is more than a game that just looks incredible. NVIDIA GPUs can give you an insane competitive edge by giving you more time to react. To see how frames win games, let's dive into what NVIDIA's tech can do. For this video, I'm playing Battlefield 2042 on an NVIDIA RTX 3070. At the core of NVIDIA's approach to competitive gaming is NVIDIA Reflex. It's no secret that in Battlefield, reaction time is huge. You've got to acquire and hit targets quickly, otherwise you're not going to win those gunfights and, well, you can't capture objectives if you're dead. This is a struggle for many players and unresponsive gameplay is incredibly frustrating, right? It's never fun to turn a corner and get murked before you can even react or when you get outplayed because of system latency. NVIDIA Reflex cut system latency in Battlefield 2042 by up to 28% on GeForce GPUs. They say this means you can see players sooner, acquire targets faster, improve aiming precision, and even mitigate that obnoxious thing called Peeker's Advantage. But does it really work? Do those milliseconds really matter? Full disclosure here, I was really skeptical about NVIDIA Reflex. Most of you know I come from a console background and I have one of the latest systems. I didn't really think that there would be a real noticeable difference, but booting up Battlefield 2042 with NVIDIA Reflex, that was an eye-opening experience. With NVIDIA Reflex, everything feels lightning quick. I'm able to win most of my one-on-one -on -one gunfights and it truly feels like I have an advantage. Everything seems super responsive. I feel like I can ADS instantly, hit those shots first, stay on target easier, and I would argue that I even save some ammunition because I'm quicker to react to enemy deaths. You also really feel the advantage of NVIDIA Reflex at mid-range battles, and all of this is a massive dub. I cannot believe how well it actually works. I'm sure it bailed me out more than a couple of times when I misplayed something, and I probably got away with a bit more than I should have, but that is the advantage of NVIDIA Reflex. Previously, I had always just assumed that my internet wasn't great or my ping was bad, but the difference made by NVIDIA Reflex was incredible, and it made me realize just how huge a factor system latency actually is in FPS games. I've also got to say that it is a clear advantage for PC players in a cross-play environment, so definitely take that into account. And luckily, if you don't have a 20 or 30 series GPU, NVIDIA Reflex is actually available on the GTX 900 series and up. It's for all GeForce gamers, and you don't even need a G-Sync display to use it. So if you can, I highly recommend you turn this on. It is phenomenal. Meanwhile, if you've got an RTX series card, you can also harness the power of Deep Learning Super Sampling, or DLSS, to drive more frames per second. This technology uses advanced AI rendering to produce image quality comparable to native resolution, and sometimes better, while only conventionally rendering a fraction of the pixels. If you ask me to describe it in a word, I would say it's basically witchcraft. It works on over 100 games now at this point, and will obviously be an important part of NVIDIA's plans for the future. Battlefield 2042 includes NVIDIA's DLSS 2.0 technology, which delivers big FPS boosts, and I was seeing bumps of around 40 frames per second, and that is no small feat in a game as demanding as Battlefield 2042. With NVIDIA Reflex and DLSS, you're getting two incredible tools to maximize your competitive edge. There's a reason why players with better graphics cards average higher kill-death ratios. Frames win games. And after getting a taste of NVIDIA Reflex, not so sure I can go back to consoles. We'll see. It was that impressive. 
On top of all this, RTX GPUs also support ray tracing and ambient occlusion. RTX cards have cores dedicated solely to ray tracing, which reduces the system workload and leads to a better experience. All of these technologies work together to create the definitive experience for Battlefield 2042. NVIDIA Reflex delivers lightning quick responsiveness. NVIDIA DLSS accelerates frame rates while retaining that great image quality. And ray traced ambient occlusion enhances image quality and creates that sense of depth that sells environments. For more information on NVIDIA Reflex, DLSS, and more, visit nvidia.com. Again, thanks to NVIDIA and Zotac for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed this video or have had a similar great experience with NVIDIA Reflex, leave a like or tell me about it. As always, thanks for watching.